Hi students, welcome to the problem solving session on Lorentz force equation. Let us see this. The point charge Q is 18 nanocoulomb as a velocity V is uh, 5 into 10 power 6 meter per second in the direction uh, A, uh, 0 0.04 AX minus 0 0.05 AY plus 0 0.02, 0.2 Z. Calculate the magnitude of force exerted on the charge by the field. They are given B, E and uh, B and E together. So first we find what is the magnitude of the force exerted by magnetic field. So what is the force exerted by the magnetic field? We know that F is equal to uh, F magnetic field is given by Q V cross B. V is 18 nanocoulomb, right? So sorry, Q is 18 nanocoulomb. So 18 into 10 power minus 9. Okay. Now V cross B, we have to find, right, what is V, V is given here, right, V direction, okay, so it is the direction B is given here, now we find V cross B, V cross B, V cross B, V cross B is given by, it's a cross product of uh, two vectors, so it is, I can find V cross B as uh, AX, AY, AZ. Then V is, what is V? You see, 0 0.04, AX, 0 0.05, 0 0.2. So I write as, uh, okay, it is creating some trouble. Fine. Right, uh, 0 0.04, uh, minus 0 0.05, 0 0.2, right, okay, next, uh, here, Z, uh, E, B, B value is minus 3, 4, E6, so minus 3, 4, 6, if you simplify what we get is, uh, uh, here, V magnitude that you take separately, 5 into 10 power 6 because what is v vector v it is direction of v so what is it it is direction of v a v so v vector is equal to v into a v right so v is 5 into 10 power 6 a v is this factor right so i take 5 into 10 power 6 common that i take it outside once you simplify what you get is 5 into 10 power 6 minus 1.1 ax minus 0 0.84 ay plus 0 0.01 az into 10 power minus 3. So, this is what if you simplify further, v cross b will become. Uh, minus 5.5 AX minus 4.2 AY plus 0 0.01 AZ into 10 power 3. Okay. So now I want F is equal to Q. Q is 18 nanocoulomb, 18 into 10 power minus 9 into v cross b v cross b is same thing right substitute the same value here what do you get is magnitude so f is equal to minus 99 ax minus 76.5 ay and uh, 0.9 az into 10 power 6 fine uh, 10 power minus 6 okay so this is what force what i want is uh, magnitude of force so magnitude means mod f mod f is given by minus 99 square i know how to find the magnitude of vectors 75.6 square plus 0.9 whole square that will give uh, 124.6 micro this minus 10 power minus 6 becomes micro newton right 
so this is what uh, the magnitude due to the uh, force on the uh, force right magnetic force next second question they asked force due to electric field so force due to electric field we know f is equal to q into e this is very simple directly q is 18 into 10 power 9 e value what is e value they have given say minus 3 plus 4 plus 6 so e is minus 3 ax uh, plus 4 ay plus 6 az into kilovolt per meter so it is 10 power 3 so f e is given by this one right okay right so right so this is what we know this will give um, minus 54 ax plus 72 ay plus 18 into 6 108 az into 10 power minus 6 newton f value what they ask is magnitude find the magnitude of uh, electrical force force due to electric field this is given by 54 squared plus 72 squared plus 108 all squared that will give 140 into 10 power minus 6 newton so it is given by 140 micro newton it is force due to electric field third one is force due to both b and e Yes or no? So we have to add both the force. We found the force due to, right? This is what force due to magnetic field. Okay, sorry. This is force due to magnetic field. Right? And we found what is force due to electric field here. This is what Fe. So the third question is force due to both. Uh, B and E and B. So we know F is equal to Q V cross B plus Q E. So we found both Q V cross B is nothing but F M. Q E is nothing but F E. If you add both, what you get is minus 45 A X minus 3 A Y. 106.9 A that. This is what total force, right? So uh, magnitude of force is given by mod F is equal to F, which is given by 45 squared plus minus 3 squared plus 106.9 whole squared. That will be equal to 116 into 10 power minus 6. Here I forgot to put 10 power minus 6. Mike Newton. This is the total force. Right? So I hope understand this problem. Maybe tedious but easy to solve. Right? If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. Thank you.